Hi everybody, this is Break Eldersleeve, and this is Helix, which is my seven-day RL competition entry for 2016. And I'll just play through the game just to show people how it works in case you want to try it out. It's available on itch.io. Just search for Helix. Okay, so here's the game. I think instead of explaining at first, I'm just going to play and then explain later and see if you can figure out what's going on. So, let's see. This guy down here is going to be hit, so I'm going to try jumping. Down. Oh, well that was wrong. Missed him. Can't jump there because there's a guy there. So jump down here. All right. Not doing so well yet. <clears throat> But let's see if I can... Okay, he's aiming, so he's going to fire on the next turn. Oh, my. Yeah, this is not going well. <laughs> okay. Uh, good. Still have two HP left. I started with four. But, okay, I have one, two moves coming up. Oh man, nowhere to run. There we go. Oh no. A <laughs> uh, bullet right in the face. Okay. Yeah, that's it. I'm dead. Okay. Alright, so that was one round of Helix. <laughs> Probably didn't make a whole lot of sense. Now I'm going to try to explain it as I go. Okay, so if you didn't catch this, you are the. Uh, you as the character, or your character is this gray space um, thing, <laughs> person, uh, with a knife, fine. Um, and you can uh, look in any direction by using, um, well, it has the directions up here, WASD or arrow keys to change direction. Um, so I can go up, left, down, right. Um, and you can see there's um, a green arrow where I can move, it turns red when I can't move. Um, and then there's this little red square there. Uh, and as I, as I change my facing, that rotates around me. There are four facings, up, down, left, and right. Okay, so that red arrow, um, if you look up here, corresponds with this little this icon. If, if blue is my character, right, then um, this red box is two squares above me. Um, and I can just rotate that 90 degrees, 180 degrees, 270 degrees, and then back to the top. Um, and red uh, means that you will shoot uh, like a fireball. Uh, as it says up here, red equals attack, green equals movement. So you can see I have some other moves queued up here. Here's a green move that's up two squares and to the right one. Here's one where I fire two fireballs. Um, here's one where I jump two squares ahead. And so that's the concept. Um, you, this is just kind of like, I got this idea kind of from Tetris, I think, although I wasn't consciously getting the idea from Tetris, but in Tetris, it feeds you blocks and you have to use them, right? So in this game, it feeds you moves and you have to use the moves. Um, if you don't like the moves, you can move one square in any direction or you can attack the square next to you. But this happens to be a pretty good move because I know for a fact that this uh, guy right here is pretty strong and if I fire in this direction, my fireball will move one, two squares in the first turn, and then three, four squares on the next turn. So it should hit him. So I press the E key to use my ability. They're uh, basically, it's just the arrow keys, or WASD, and Q and E. Those are the only uh, keys in this game, so it's very simple. Okay, so I hit E. There we go. So I shot at him. He fired at me. Enemies, when they fire... Um, their projectile stays on their square for the first turn that they shoot, so that actually gives you a chance to dodge. Okay, this one here is aiming, um, and these ones up here with question marks have not seen me yet, so they use line of sight and they also have a sight distance. Um, and so if I rotate my little movement square around, I have couple valid moves. This one here is invalid, so the gr the green is checkered. 
This one is invalid, it's outside of the play area. So I basically have two jump moves where I could move up, left, or right. Um, since this guy is shooting at me, probably the best move is to jump here. Okay. Well, this move doesn't help very much. Um, mm, if I shoot here, uh, it will shoot a fireball this way and one this way, which will probably miss this guy. Um, but then on my next turn, I get a jump move right here. So that could let me jump over this wall and get out of the way. So I'm going to use this fireball shot. Maybe if I'm lucky, it'll hit here. I don't know. It depends on how I set up the uh, the hit colliders. <laughs> it's a little imperfect. Hey, you make a game in seven days. This is what you get, right? Okay. Right, so there were my two shots. You saw I hit the button. And each one of them went to the, the target square. This guy is shooting at me. This blue beam is actually a very fast projectile. So I'm going to get out of the way by doing... I could do this, this, this. Ooh, you know what? This move is actually better than this move because that will put me in a position to hit this robot on the next turn. So I will do that. And done. So you just bump to attack. Um, <clears throat> as much as I didn't want to put that feature in, uh, because I, I really wanted you to be just limited entirely just to these moves, but then um, I found that it was not a whole lot of fun. If you had, for example, well, you see here I have four moves in a row with no attacks, and it it's not a whole lot of fun when you're just jumping around waiting for an attack to come up. So if you can manage to get next to an enemy, um, you can attack them. Okay, so here's a little bit of a problem. Um, both of these have seen me, hence the exclamation point. However, this robot has not only seen me, it is aiming at me. And I'm kind of lucky because there are all these explosive barrels in the way. If you played my game from last year, uh, Rogue Space Marine, you know that barrels were a big part of that game. And, um, well, anyway... If I just let it shoot at me, I think this one will get a shot off before these can, and those exploding barrels should kill this one, this one, and this one. All I have to do is get out of the way. Or wait, even. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to wait. So Q is, is wait, because if it shoots, it'll hit these barrels. Uh, the barrels hit anything in a one square distance away from it, which means it won't hit me. Let's try that. Uh-oh, now they're aiming, too. Uh, that's bad. I'm just going to hit the barrels myself, and I'm afraid that this guy will get a shot off on this turn, but then I have a move coming up next. Right. Okay. I just moved out of the way. <laughs> and, okay, so that works. So this one, this one, and this one got uh, taken out by that. Okay, this enemy sees me has a knife. Um, there's no friendly fire for the enemies, so um, this enemy doesn't get hit by that shot. Um, there is one problem, though. This enemy with a knife, well, you can see what they actually look like up here when there's no bullet on top of them. These ones um, attack you immediately uh, on, like, they don't have any charge time for their attacks. So if I were to jump here, I would get hit immediately. And I would get to hit him, but I would lose one hit point. You can see down here I have four hit points. So I don't really like that. So what I'm going to do is move down one, and he will move either up or to the left. I keep saying he, but I should, I should note that these are non-gender specific um, characters, right? So it, perhaps. <clears throat> it will move to the left or up, uh, in which case I'll be able to hit it because it can't move and attack on one turn. So, do that. It moved over to the left, and now easy target for me. All right, not so bad. I've taken out one, two, three, four, five, six enemies, and I still have all my hit points left. That's good. And none of the en other enemies have seen me. They all have question marks on their heads now. So, uh, let's see what I can do now. So, I have a whole string of five moves in a row coming up here. Um, this one's up and up two into the right two, and then I have up three into the right two. So if I 
were to jump here, then I could go one, two, three over two. One, two, three over two. Uh, it doesn't really help all that much. And all my other moves are invalid right now. Um, so, well, I think the problem is if I move up one and then I jump there, he'll get a shot on me. I think these guys are quick shots. I don't even remember because when I was finishing up the game on Sunday night, I was so tired and enemy, these different enemies were like the last, one of the last things that I coded. So, okay, so what do we got now? Um, I just moved up one so I can jump two and then I could jump one, two, three and over two, um, which means I would get hit. So that's not good. Or I could rotate from here, one, two, three, over two. That doesn't help particularly because I think this guy will still get a shot on me. What's over this way? Uh, I could jump there, and then I could go one, two, three, over one, two, which would probably let me get either this guy or this guy on the next move. The problem is all of these, pretty much except for this one, would be alerted because they'd be able to see me. This guy wouldn't be able to see me because there's a wall in the way. Uh, or this one. One, two, three, one, two. Ooh, I think that is the best option. So I'll do that. And, well, okay, the tricky thing is that they move. <laughs> All right. Um, there we go. Uh, these guys, the green ones, are slow to aim. I think the brown one is a little faster to aim. So this, I think this one only travels one square per shot. So he fired. This one's going to fire on the next turn, so I have to hit this one. Um, but I think I'll still be able to get it out of the way of this fireball. So that, oh, just barely. And there's actually, um, it's a little buggy. Again, seven days. Give me a break, people. Um, I might actually get hit by this fireball when I teleport because I don't, I don't know if I get out of the way fast enough. I mean, ideally I should, but it's it was a little buggy for me when I was coding. So let's see how it goes. I'm going to try to jump there and get out of the way. Nope, it, it hit me. You can see hit points three. That's a bug. Sorry. <laughs> I don't know what to say. I tried, you know. Um, okay, so that's no good. That move, that one puts me right in the path of the oncoming bullet. This one is okay, and then I have up three and over three, so one, two, three, one, two, three. That could potentially work. Uh, probably because there might be a guy here or there when I jump, so. And look, I have all these attacks coming up after this, so if I can just hold out a little. Ah! Okay, so there goes that plan. That knife enemy moved in the in the way of where I was going to jump. So I can't jump now. Um, hmm. Okay, I'm going to go in guns a And then do some dodging after that. This should be good. Okay. Uh, I might get both this guy and that on this shot. This uh, no, both of them went into the front one. Uh, so I'm going to receive a shot from here on the next turn. I think potentially if I fire, if I fire this way, I get these two. If I fire this way, I'm probably going to get this one, but not that one. So I think this is the better move. Yeah, that looks good. Okay, now I have a fireball coming my way, so I need to move out of the way. And, yeah. There. Okay, now I have a fireball coming this way. <clears throat> and this one is aiming. I think what I will do is fire a shot, because this, this one's going to fire at me next turn. So I'll fire a shot, and then I get a, a little bit of a jump that might help me get out of the way of the, of the oncoming shot on the next turn. Possibly. I don't know. Um, I think that's my best move.
So, here we go. Okay. Uh, yeah, so if I jump here, that will get me out of the way, hopefully. And hopefully I don't hit this one. Again, there's that weird bug where I might get hit by it. Let's take a look at the HP when I do this. All right, that worked. Okay, now I have a nice big jump. I can get totally clear here. Ooh, even better. I will jump next to you and hopefully not get hit by that beam. I think it should just go past this down this way, so... Ah, uh, who knows. Um, ideally, I would have, you know, the game would be such that uh, this stuff would be kind of deterministic. Um, a lot of people complained with my game last year that there was a little too much uncertainty. You didn't know if your shot was going to hit, you didn't know if certain things were going to happen within a turn. And I tried to make it a little better this year, but it's still not perfect. I'm learning as I go. Okay, anyway, I'm going to do this. I'll get an attack on the next move. And I didn't get hit. That was good. Now there's a fireball coming my way, but that's a slow one. Whereas you can see this this enemy, the shot travels really fast. Whereas this one, the shot travels very slow. So I will attack to the left. I will get out of the way. I will fire. Yeah. That's that's what I had in mind when I made this game. Those kind of like combo moves. That was pretty sweet, right? Took out three um, enemies in in three quick turns because of the moves I had coming up. So that's kind of what I was going for. And anyway, sometimes it works. Sometimes hmm, not so much. Okay, this is an interesting one. <laughs> this move is kind of buggy. When I when I coded it, I originally imagined, okay, you'll fire here and here and then you'll jump there, but for whatever reason the sort of move parser that I wrote, it actually makes you move first and then fire, so you jump there and then your fireballs come out this way. Um, yeah, a little bit of a bug. Um, anyway. So can't see me yet. I think these have a sight distance of three, perhaps, so I'm still outside of the sight distance, just barely, but, um, oh, that's too bad. I can't hit the barrels because I would have to jump into the barrels to do that, and one, two, three barrels, I think that would pretty much kill me. So, cat and mouse. Also, there's no time pressure in this game. In my game last year, I, uh, I made I made it so it does have time pressure, which um, works pretty well. I don't know, in games with no time pressure. The problem is you can just sort of want, there aren't enough enemies here to consistently cause you trouble, um, and you can just kind of avoid them. Um, I say as I get killed. <laughs> Okay, here we go. I'll jump over this wall. So you, you do like a little teleport on these moves. So you can go right through the wall, and I will fire, and I think maybe this shot will hit this guy. We'll see. Nope. See, that's the thing I was talking about. You you jump, and then you shoot. So that was my bad. I uh, did, not, did not code that as it should have been. Oh, look at that. Bullet coming. Going to hit this barrel. I think I will be able to get out of the way of the barrel if I just move down. Yeah. And then this one will shoot at me, and I'm actually safely out of range um, right now. So I can, I'll just wait, perhaps. Yeah. And then I think if I fire here, um, this enemy will come in the line of fire. Oh, except for there was a barrel there. Stupid. Okay. Alright, and now it's just uh, cleaning up. Yes. Fish in the barrel. Okay, cool. So I finished the first level, now I'm on level 2. At the end of the level you get all your hit points back. and Yeah. Um, anyway, there are five levels. Last level is pretty hard. I haven't actually beaten it yet, so. But that's my game. I um, I hope you enjoy it.
Thanks for playing.